Got my lax sitting low like a Honda Civic. Honey sack of that drove got a G lift. What's going on there, YouTube? <gasps> Bitch, please, you've been to space. That's right, people. We are back. It is hump day. And we are here with a RDA review. That's right, people, an RDA. Which RDA are we looking at today, people? Well, I'll go ahead and tell you. Today, we are taking a gander at the Vape Am Fat Fish RDA. That's right, people, the Fat Fish. Big old chunky bitch. I respect it, don't neglect it. This was sent over from my V Pro. And uh, it's, it's got some stuff going on. We're gonna get to all of it. We're gonna discuss all of it. And we're gonna have a good time, all right? Does that sound good, people? And without further ado, let's get the motherfucking party started. The Vape Am Fat Fish is a 24 millimeter diameter, squonkable, RDA that's supposed to be a hybrid of RDA and RDTA. You can get the 3D fish logo in a few different colors and it sells on my VPro's website for $28.99. All right, people, let's see what's inside this fat fish RDA box. First, you got fat fish and some stuff. Look at fucking Google Play, Vape Am. They do stuff. It's a, it's a whole thing. They got like stuff. All right, so ooh, little little wooden box action, and here we have the blue. And what's going on here, people? It's two fish intertwined, representing a yin and a yang. And what that's supposed to represent with this dripper is flavor and vapor. Oh. All right, so there's that. Let's dig deeper as we must. We got some some cushion. What else we got in here? We got a little card with a QR code and then uh, now we get to the goodies Ooh, like we got some pretty decent coils in here too so we got our squonk pin extra o-rings and allen wrench some extra screws and two pretty good looking coils very nice very nice so there we are people I think that is all she wrote yep, there's nothing else in there that is the packaging All right, folks, before we get too involved, I just want to show you a couple of things before we get to the build montage. You know, we got one coming up. So they consider this an RDA slash RDTA hybrid. I don't necessarily agree. I mean, the post sit up and the juice well is pretty generous, but well, you can put a good amount of juice down there, but still, don't can, it's still a dripper in my eyes. Nice deep juice well though. But yeah, simple, simple postless kind of setup. Uh, this is gonna be pretty easy. And check out this airflow. Now, they did some interesting stuff here. The airflow, they got it set up to where if you want your coils low, you got airflow that comes up from the bottom. All right, just like that. You want your coils up high, you set your airflow like that. Very cute, very cool, I must say. So that's kind of neat. That's kind of neat. They kind of kind of got it set up for either way. But yeah, that is the deck and the top cap and the airflow. Now, let's roll that beautiful bean footage.
time to talk performance. That's right, performance. How does this little guy get down? Well, let me have a token, I'll let you know. I gotta say, that whole yin yang thing that they were pitching, wait, where'd everybody go? That whole yin yang thing, everybody, that they were pitching of flavor and vapor, I gotta say it was true, man. Flavor is on perm. And uh, the clouds are phenomenal. The airflow is fantastic. Just absolutely fantastic. Dense, thick clouds that gravity pulls to the ground. That's what I'm talking about. Those are the kind of clouds that I like. And I'm only at 65 watts on this 0.15 build. And the included coils. It's good. It's good. I'm a fan of performance. Uh, this thing vapes really nice. All right, folks, now we got to discuss pros and cons. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you right up front. There's not many cons on this bad boy. Uh, the deck, super easy to build. Um, you got a really generous juice well. Still don't consider it a hybrid of RDA and RDTA, but really, really nice juice well. You can squonk this bitch if you want to. Um, I kind of like the aesthetic with the 3D little metal logo on the side and the different colors you can get. I like the knurling on the top cap and the drip tip. Um, I like the airflow setups. I like it's it's overall. I like the locking of it so it doesn't spin. All together, I really, really like it. This vape's really good and has a really good flavor. If I had to force some complaints, uh, it didn't come with the 510 drip tip adapter. It didn't come with cotton for the coils, even though it did come with really nice coils. Um, fucking that's it, man. This thing's really good. Flavor and clouds. I'm really impressed by that. The flavor and clouds on this thing Just fan fucking tastic. I really can't. I, mean, I really, I really can't fault it, mate. I can't fucking fault it, mate. Okay, so here's the thing. Uh, Vape Am, they've come out with a couple of products. I know about the whole social media app and all that stuff and everything. I didn't expect something that vapes this good to come from them, to be honest. They've had some decent stuff before, but like this was a very well-designed uh, RDA. It vapes really, really good. It's not it's nothing crazy. I mean, the, the, the air chamber, it's kind of it's kind of different the way it comes up and you can do some stuff. But like the deck sim, like it, it just, it's just really good RDA, man. It's a really good RDA that they made, uh, and I like it a lot. I'm, yeah, it's just out of nowhere. Fucking, here's a fat fish for you. Just putting out like a champion, like an absolute champion. I really like this. This is a, uh, this is really good. Uh, kudos to Vape Am. Uh, kudos, you guys. You made something really nice. That surprised the shit out of me. Anyway, links in the description to my V Pro if you want to go take a look, take it. I don't give a shit. But I told you, and that's worth a smidgen of something. A little smidgen of something. Um, and really, I think that's it, people. I think that's it. We got more videos coming up for you. Some pretty wild shit. Thank you for watching. You guys are awesome. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. Remember, doesn't matter what the fuck you're vaping on. As long as you're not on them gosh darn stingies. That's what's important. That's what's truly important. And last but not least, <laughs> you stay sexy, YouTube. Me and this fat ass fish. We're out. Behind it, five percent windows never go down. Music never go down. My nigga say slow down. Vaping saves more lives than finding duality in yourself and looking at that as a positive thing.